Wind, a natural movement of air of any velocity. Though we can't see it directly, wind is something we can feel all around us. For the past 2,000 years, humans have been trying to convert the pressure from the wind into usable energy. This is called the wind energy, a famous type of renewable energy as it is a naturally replenishing resource of the earth. The first windmill for energy was built in 1887, but it was only used to grind grains or pump water. These are sorts of mechanical energy. Today, we have wind turbines for electrical energy. It uses no fuel, no water, and emit the smallest amount of air pollution. So how do wind turbines work? Quickly imagine your summertime best friend, the electric fan. When we're using our fans, we plug it into a power source and it produces wind. A wind turbine does the reverse. The wind comes at the fan, starts spinning the other way, and converts air motion into electricity and stores it into power grids. Then, utility companies do the energy distribution to our communities. The energy that we get from a modern wind turbine can power over 1,000 homes, and it is also the equivalent of 16,000 solar panels. Industry experts think that we can get as much as one-third of our power just from the blowing wind by 2050. However, wind power has some inconsistencies because the wind speeds vary based on geography, topography, and season. Basically, it depends highly on your location. Per energy output, the comparison of wind turbine production and maintenance cost has become reasonable after years of persistent research. There is some backlash about how wind turbines affect birds and bats, and there is still a need to further research about the placements or the most efficient locations of wind turbines which is outside bird migratory patterns. But the question that we face today is this, is wind energy harvest worth it? In Martin Heidegger's essay, The Question Concerning Technology, he classified two types of technology, bringing forth and challenging forth. The bringing forth is the way of revealing or the way in which something comes into being, while challenging forth pertains to the way technology extracts from nature to store its resources or energy. The technology that we want is something that generates energy through an engagement from nature but do not take it away. Last 2016, the Philippines has overtaken all other members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations in terms of installed wind energy capacity. The Republic Act 9513, known as the Renewable Energy Law, encourages the development and use of non-traditional energy sources. One of them is the wind energy. According to the feed-in tariff scheme of our country, Wind energy costs only 8 pesos and 53 centavos per kilowatt hours. Have you ever heard of the famous quote, With great power comes great responsibility? This is our reality with technology today. It is our role as Filipinos and inhabitants of the planet to be good stewards of nature's resources. While scientists are working hard to continually improve the methods for renewable energy harvest, we all have the responsibility to be mindful of keeping the environment clean. It is also a must to keep ourselves informed with our technology side effects to nature. After all, technology without sustainability is vain. Thank you for listening. Masamang pagkundat at malayo-layo na rin ang ating narating.